guys. Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, October 20th, 2023. Welcome to another eBay video. Today I'm going to tell you the definitive policy about eBay removing unfair negative feedback. I'm going to discuss two actual cases I was involved in during the week. And I'm going to show you the two different surprising outcomes. This video is a must watch if you're a seller on eBay. I'm also going to discuss more about false item not as described claims. I started telling you a story last week. I'm going to finish that this week and introduce you to yet another case. And if I have time at the end, I have a little special treat. Of course, for that, we got to go inside. And maybe some other eBay information at the end, but only if I can keep this basically under half an hour. Okay? So, let's get started. I'm going to start off with some good news, if I may. Because I want to take it slow, and I want to prepare you for the bad news that is going to come. Okay, guys, I'm back. Oh, my God. It was landscapers again. The bane of my existence. I've never seen a community in my life that employs so many landscapers as right here. Nobody does any of their own work anymore. Except for cute Joey, of course. But let's get back to the video. And as I said, I want to give you first an update about item not as described cases that are claimed falsely. In last week's video, you may remember, I told you an example of where I sold an item, described the blemishes, the person said the item was damaged in shipping and not as described, and they opened a return. They even used the same exact pictures of the damage that I took. I don't mean that they're using my pictures. I'm just saying they took the same pictures that I had already taken and uploaded. It's ridiculous. So I called eBay concierge over a week ago. The representative looked at it and said, I'll take care of this. And I will call you when the tracking shows it's delivered to you, which was the other day, which was, I think, Monday. And yes, I got the item back. And the eBay representative called me and said, do not issue a refund. I will handle this on my end. So she closed the case. At, no, she closed the return and opened a case, which is the way they have to do it. And the case was decided in my favor. However, although I got to keep the money, eBay gave the bad buyer back their full amount, including the shipping. So... This has been happening a lot lately on eBay. You think I'm done? I'm not. The very next day, which was Tuesday, it happens again. I sold two alloy wheel center caps that were blemished. I described the blemishes. I took pictures. The buyer opened a request saying, pictures do not match description, and went back and took the same pictures that I took and uploaded them for $21.25. And he wrote, now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. He wrote in the return, one hubcap has a small hole drilled in it, and one has a big scrape. I want to keep the one with the small hole, but I don't want the one with the big scrape, and I'm going to return it. This is going to be a problem, because these were sold not as a quantity listing, but as a unit, one item that just happened to have two individual parts, okay? So when I get that back, I'm going to call concierge, and hopefully they will take care of that one too. I've noticed that with these false itemizers described cases, eBay has been pretty good, as long as you can show them concrete proof that you are showing the damage ahead of time. If you find yourself in the position I was in, I implore you to contact eBay and report these scammers. It's the only way you're going to protect yourself. 
Guys, I know when I'm beaten. I'm going to have to go inside and film the rest of the video inside. I really like filming them out here because I know you like it. But I just cannot compete with these landscapers. They are absolutely unbeatable. Let's go inside. It's drier in there anyway because it's raining. And what's that? Listen. They shut the blower off. Maybe I can keep going. I spoke to the concierge representative and I said, I wish there was something you could do about this. I wish there was something that eBay would do about this. And all they ever say is just click the report a buyer button. And if they get too many complaints about one person, they'll look into it. But personally, nah. I don't think so. I'm going inside. All right, guys. A good man knows when he's beaten. And I just cannot fight these landscapers anymore. So I moved it inside here. And we're going to continue the video inside. Now I want to move on to negative feedback removal and eBay's new policies for late 2023 and early 2024. Last year, eBay apparently had a program in the concierge section where they would give courtesy removals of up to five negative feedbacks. <clears throat> Although I called in several times last year to get unfair feedback removed, I never got the chance to avail myself of one of these courtesy removals because every time my negative feedback was so egregious that it fell under a policy violation. Now let's discuss what will happen right now. This is October 20th, 2023. If you get a negative feedback on eBay. Now maybe it'll be egregious. Maybe it'll be over the line, but will eBay remove it? I'm not going to speculate. I'm going to state emphatically right now, because I had two unfair negative feedbacks this week. When is the last time any of you guys had two unfair negative feedbacks? It seems to me that buyers who leave Unfair negative feedbacks always have a track record of doing that right down the line. And over the years, I've showed you several cases of such people. What really bothers me is that years ago, eBay told me to my face that there were checks and balances in place to make sure this kind of thing would never happen. I can tell you definitively this kind of thing continues to happen as of October 2023. But let's concentrate on the removal and what qualifies and what eBay says does not qualify. On Monday that just passed, I got my first of two unfair negative feedbacks. I had sold an alloy wheel center cap for nine dollars. That's nine dollars, okay? plus five shipping for a total of $14. The buyer got the item and immediately went right to the neg button and left me negative feedback. I always thought they had to wait a certain amount of time, maybe seven days to leave negative feedback. Not this time. She left me immediate negative feedback and it says something like this. The, bot, the seller sent me an item with a broken clip, which means they sent me a defective part. Negative feedback. Now, what bothers me so much about this, besides the fact that it was nine freaking dollars, was I accept returns for 30 days, no questions asked. This buyer could easily have requested a return right, and gotten their full money back and used any excuse they want, and I pay the shipping back. Why didn't they do that? Why did they go right to the neg button, considering 
I offer 30 day returns. So I call concierge Monday night and I figured because I do offer 30 day returns and the buyer chose not to avail themselves of it, that they would remove the neg. <whistles> no, not happening. They gave me the can line. Well, it's the buyer's prerogative to state how they feel the transaction went. I said, listen to me, sir. Look at my account. I've been with eBay for 24 years, and I have a feedback over 14,000. The person who left the negative feedback for me has a feedback of nine. Nine, okay? Nine. And they have a history of leaving negative feedback. I mean, they left two negs in one day, one for me, one for another seller. He didn't want any part of it. No, no, no. I said, listen, do you see that I offer 30 day returns, no questions asked? Doesn't that offer me any protection? He said, it used to, but it doesn't anymore. It means nothing. He goes, you, if you want this negative removed, you have two choices. You could either contact the buyer and try and work it out with them. And I know you've heard all that before. Or you can get the buyer to open a return. If you do get the buyer to open a return and accept the item back and give them a full refund, in that case, we will remove the neg. Now, even in the best case scenario, that's going to take some time, right? Assuming the buyer is willing to open the, open the return case and send it back to me. So I'll be running with that neg on my account, and I honestly feel it hurts sales with the algorithm. So then I said to the concierge rep, I said, look, open your eyes. I said, $9 for the item plus five is $14. I said, to speed things up, I said, how about if I give her a full refund right now? I'm willing to do that right now. Will you remove the neg? Nope. No way. The only way I will remove the neg is if the buyer opens a return. If they open a return, well, then yes. Have them send it back. And when you get the item back, I will remove the neg. So I told him in no uncertain terms, I'm very dissatisfied that eBay values a person with a feedback under nine more than they do a 24 year seller whose feedback is over 14,000. I let myself be heard. So my next step, where I really didn't have any choice, was to contact the buyer, which I did. And I wrote to them and I said, I'm sorry if the item arrived damaged. I said, I assure you, I check all my items ahead of time and those clips were good. And if you look at the picture, you can clearly see the clips were all good. I said, however, I, ret I accept returns for 30 days, no questions asked. I said, I'm a little saddened that you left me negative feedback without at least opening a return. Would you consider opening a return request and revising your feedback after I give you a refund. And I was pleasantly surprised the next day when I received the reply and she said, yes. She goes, actually, she goes, I apologize because I didn't know that I could actually open a return request and send this item back. I thought my only recourse was to leave you negative feedback. But she said, yes, I'm willing to revise my feedback and open a return. So that's exactly what she did. First, she opened the return request. As soon as I got it, now I'm assuming that the item arrived with a broken clip, and I have to assume that she's telling the truth on a freaking $9 item. So what I did was I clicked the button that says, offer the buyer a full refund now, and you will not ex accept the <laughs> Offer the, offer the buyer a full refund now, and you will not expect to get the item returned. So that's what I did. 
I gave her a full refund, bang, out the window. I then wrote back to her and I said, listen, I just gave you a full refund. Please do not send me the item back if it's broken. I don't need it. I would appreciate you revising your feedback. I said to myself, hopefully she will revise her feedback. If she doesn't, I'm going to call concierge again because she actually promised that she would and she was into it. But thankfully, later that day, she did revise the feedback and everything worked out. So that's case number one. That's an example of where eBay will let you swing in the wind. Okay? They love using the expression, it's the buyer's choice, it's the buyer's prerogative. The whole freaking feedback system is antiquated. It was established like 15 or 20 years ago. And maybe it was okay back then, but it's not okay now. So many things have changed over the last 20 years. For instance, sellers cannot leave bad feedback for buyers. And while I'm on that little topic, do you remember, you longtime sellers, do you remember years ago when eBay made the announcement, they said, we're not going to let sellers leave bad feedback for eBay buyers anymore. That proclamation was put into effect in one month. Meaning, if they made the announcement September the 1st, October the 1st, no more negative feedback for bad buyers. It has always astounded me how changes like that can be instituted so quickly, but immediate payment on best offers took two years. I don't get it, and I never will. Now I want to talk about case number two. This is an egregious case, all right? These are the kinds of things that do happen from time to time. And I feel that it's my duty to tell you this and show you this because it could and may well happen to you. I'm actually now going to do a cutaway and I'm going to show you a guy who tried to scam me. I'll introduce it really quick. We'll go to the cutaway and then we'll do a wrap up. Basically, as you'll see, back in the end of August, a person bought four hubs from me. Everything was fine until about two or three days ago. He opened a return request saying he bought the wrong size. It's his mistake. He admitted he was wrong. eBay insists to be a top rated seller. We take returns for 30 days and I'm, you know, hey, those are the rules. I'm with it. Okay. 30 days does not mean 52 days. I have been coming out here for years telling you guys not to accept returns past your return expiration date. Not only do I talk the talk, I walk the walk. And I'm going to be showing you that in a couple of seconds. I even said to one of my friends who I was texting with at the time, I said, let's see how long it takes this guy to leave me a negative feedback. And the answer was about 10 minutes. He was so over the top that eBay immediately removed the negative feedback. In fact, the eBay representative removed it while I was on the phone with him. Usually they say something like, well, the negative will disappear in 24 hours or six hours or one hour or 15 minutes. This was so over the top, he said to me, I'm removing it right now, this second. And he did. I got off the phone. That feedback was gone. And he even told me I should report the buyer to eBay and hopefully they would do something about it. I did report them to eBay and now I'm going to report them to you. Okay, guys, please pay attention to your screen right now. As you can see, the item was purchased on August 27th, shipped the same day and he received it on the 31st. I want you to see the timeline because that's important. Now, let's look at the return request. Here he states 
he ordered them by mistake. And he stated, I have a 1964 model Falcon, but the hubcaps didn't fit since they measured 9.5 inches, and the ones I need must be 10.5 inches. <clears throat> An apology, please. Thank you. Again, return reason ordered by mistake. Now, you can clearly see right here, this was the 18th, which was two days ago, I declined the request because I'm a buy the book dude. Returns must be initiated within 30 days, not 52 days, not happening. I not only talk the talk, I walk the walk. It took this guy approximately 10 minutes to leave this feedback. The seller is a scammer. He sent me hubcaps made of garbage. Now that is not what he said. Look right here. He's admitting he ordered them by mistake and he states he bought the wrong size and he didn't check. Thankfully, the eBay representative realized this was an egregious policy violation and removed the feedback at once. Guys, think about what you just saw and in the comments section, please tell me what you think because I'll tell you what I think. The eBay feedback system is antiquated at best and needs to be totally retooled. That's number one. Moreover, eBay needs to sanction bad buyers who leave false and inaccurate, scurrilous negative feedback like I just showed you. Something needs to be done, okay? I would love to hear your ideas and your experiences your recent experiences, please, in the comments section below. Earlier in today's video, I said if I had time, I was going to give you guys a treat. And I do have the time, and I have the treat right here. Guys, in my hand, I have eggnog. And this was requested by several of my viewers. I'm going to have some of this wonderful drink right now. I'm going to drink it on camera. It's good. It's good. I'd be very surprised if anybody watching this video can tell me where that famous movie quote was from. I'm going to give it to you again. Please pay attention. Eggnog. Who can answer that trivia question? Comments below. Guys, I hope you make a ton of sales this week on eBay. Rock on and peace.